So thank you very much uh, to join us here. I am uh, with, uh, currently with AMD and I'm going to show you some of the very cool new features that we have included inside uh, Autodesk 3ds Max uh, 2014 extension 1. So uh, what we're demonstrating here uh, is uh, partnerships that we are achieving uh, that take benefits of the Fire Pro uh, technology. And what's going on here is uh, we have a 3ds Max uh, 2014 extension one, and we, we bring something new inside this release, uh, and this is the uh, uh, capability to actually do uh, stereo directly inside the application, and it's very easy and it's very powerful to do it. So first of all, if I play this uh, small animation, you can see that uh, if I'm going in the, in the screen over there, you can actually visualize that uh, we can display with a different type of uh, stereo technology. So I'm currently using inside uh, this window here, the anaglyph, and uh, on my right side here, I'm taking advantage of the uh, uh, Fire Pro by using the, uh, the active stereo. If you don't have the chance to have the uh, Fire Pro technology uh, that allow you to visualize the active stereo, you can use the old technology of the anaglyph. But uh, the problem that you will find is that you will lose uh, the quality uh, uh, of the image because you lose the color based on the limitation of the anaglyph. And uh, also it will not be uh, very accurate and, and very uh, beautiful. So by using here uh, the active uh, uh, feature inside the application, you can actually output directly on an external uh, screen the stereo as an active stereo. So what's really nice about uh, the application is when you take a look here at the rigging, uh, basically to create the stereo camera, you just need to go inside the systems and you have the feature here called the stereo. When this is done, you can select the camera and you have a lot of parameters that allow you to adjust the quality of the stereo that you want to achieve. So, for instance, uh, one of the first things that you can play with is what we call the interaxial separation. And here you will be able to define the distance between the, your two eyes, the left and the right eyes, and you will get the final output of the image in this camera. And this is what you can see here with the anaglyph, but you can take the benefits to see it with the active uh, camera. And actually, uh, in real time, you can actually visualize at a very high quality uh, the, the stereo that you are getting from here. So the uh, there, there, there is a lot of parameters that allow you to make all of the, the, the tweak, small adjustment to get the perfect image that you're looking for, for your architecture project, or if you uh, do any other type of movie that you would like to, to get a high quality stereo image in 3D. So that was a, a quick example of uh, what we can get inside the uh, Autodesk 3ds Max 2014 extension one. Uh, and uh, I invite you to, to take a look of the other feature that we are bringing and, uh, and make sure to, to take a look also of the, the power of the Fire Pro that allow you to do this uh, this time of, te uh, of technology.